welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the eyelet ripple stitch pattern. For this pattern, you'll just need to know how to do a treble crochet. If you need help with that, you can check down in the description below on my video of how to do a treble crochet. So to get started, you want to chain multiples of 22 plus 19. For this tutorial, I'm doing a quick 41 chains. All right, once you have all your chains to get started on this pattern, you wanna chain three. And in the fourth chain from the hook, you wanna work your first treble crochet, followed by another treble crochet. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the next two chains, followed by chaining two, skipping two, and working two treble crochets in the next chain. Then we will chain three, skip one chain, and work two treble crochets in the next chain stitch. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the next two stitches. followed by chaining two, skipping two, and working two treble crochets. Then we will skip three stitches. And we will work two treble crochets in the next two stitches, or chains. followed by chaining two, skipping two, and working two treble crochets. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the same stitch. followed by chaining three, skipping one, and working two treble crochets in the same chain stitch. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the next stitch, in the next two stitches. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the last two chains. And this will finish off the foundation row of row one. Doesn't look like much right now, but as we add, it'll start giving that nice, beautiful wave to it. So to get started on row two, you wanna start off by chaining two, sorry, chaining three and working two treble crochets in the chain two space from the previous row. Chaining two, working two treble crochets in the chain two space from the previous row. Chaining two, and in the chain three space from the previous row, we're gonna work two treble crochets, followed by chaining three, and working two more treble crochets in the same space. Then we will chain two and work two treble crochets in the chain two space. Chaining two and working two treble crochets in the next chain two space. Now to get that nice V going for the wave, we're going to skip that middle section right there, 
We don't want there, we want right there and we're gonna work two treble crochets. You wanna make sure you miss that gap area. So then we'll chain two and work two treble crochets in the next uh, chain two space, followed by chaining two and working two treble crochets in the chain three space, followed by chaining three and working two more treble crochets in the same chain space. Now we will chain two and work two treble crochets in the next chain two space and chaining two and working two treble crochets in the next chain two space. And you can see how this is starting to get its beautiful wave, but let's make it better with row three. So for row three, start off by chaining three. We're gonna skip the first two stitches and we're gonna work two treble crochets in the chain two space, followed by two treble crochets in the next two stitches. Two treble crochets in the chain two space and two treble crochets in the next two stitches. Now in this chain three space that we're coming up on, we want to work seven treble crochets all within that same space. Now we're gonna work two treble crochets in the next two stitches. Followed by two treble crochets in the chain two space. Two treble crochets in the next two stitches. And two treble crochets in the chain two space. And now we're gonna do a stitch five together make sure we get that nice V. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave some of our loops on our hook so we can pull them all through together at once. So we're gonna insert our hook, pull through one, pull through two. So we have two loops, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through one, pull through two. Insert your hook, pull through one, pull through two. Insert your hook again in the next stitch, pull through one, pull through two. So we have five loops. So now we're gonna go into that chain two space and we're gonna do one more treble crochet, a pull through one, pull through two. And now we're gonna pull through all six loops at once. Just like that. And now we're gonna do another treble crochet in that same chain space followed by two treble crochets in the next two stitches, two treble crochets in the chain two space, two treble crochets in the next two stitches, and now in the chain three space we are going to do seven treble crochets. followed by two treble crochets in the next two stitches, two treble crochets in the chain two space, two treble crochets in the next two stitches, and two treble crochets in the chain two space. And I know it'll feel odd that we didn't go all the way, but it'll end up creating a nice border with how strong this ends up being a wave because you can really see it now. 
So next row four, we're gonna start off by chaining four, skipping two and working two treble crochets in the next two stitches. Followed by chaining two, skipping two and working two treble crochets in the next two stitches. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the same stitch. We will then chain three, skip one, and work two treble crochets into the same stitch. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the next two stitches, followed by chaining two, skipping two, and working two treble crochets in the next two stitches. Then we will skip the next five stitches, and we will work, sorry, the next four stitches, and we will work a treble crochet, followed by another treble crochet in the next stitch. We wanna keep that V going with our wave. So then we just chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the next two stitches, followed by chaining two, skipping two, and working two treble crochets in the same stitch, followed by chaining three, skipping one, and working two treble crochets in the same stitch. Then we will chain two, skip two, and work two treble crochets in the next two stitches. Chaining two, skipping two, and working two treble crochets in the next two stitches. And again, I know it feels weird to leave the end of the rows unfinished, but if you went down that far, it would end up messing up the edging. So to continue this for your work, all you'd have to do is repeat rows two and four to continue your pattern of any size you would like. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like, and I really do hope that you have a happy crochet day.